you know, everybody sort of thought uh, Little Rock would be an easy place. But then one night, Governor Faubus went on TV and said, we're not going to do it. <laughs> you know, they're not, they're not going, you know, we're not going to desegregate. And uh, he called out the National Guard, and uh, I got over there the next day after he called out the National Guard. And uh, now the school, Central High School, faced uh, Park Avenue. And uh, so I'm walking up Park Avenue, uh, coming up to try to interview some people. Uh, and I'm met by the colonel who was in charge of the National Guard. And uh, he tells me that uh, he didn't think uh, it would be good for me to be up there because my very presence might cause some problems. And, uh, you know, he, he wasn't taking any reasons why I should be there. You know, you got all these white reporters off to the side there who are still going to be able to cover the situation. And uh, he uh, took about I guess for about three of his troopers he assigned to march me out of there and take me back to my car. So uh, I pretty much got thrown out of there. But uh, as time went on, the NACP kept winning suits, you know. Every time they would throw up a block, they would go to court and get it knocked down. The day they decided that the kids would go back again, um, there were four of us. There was L. Alex Wilson, uh, a photographer for the Bates' newspaper named Davy, and uh, there was this guy from the Amsterdam News, uh, Jimmy Hicks. And uh, we're coming up 16th Street, headed to Park Avenue, and uh, I got this long line of people over at the side, all these mob type people who uh, were there to see that the kids didn't get into the school. And uh, they, they, you know, we, they were getting sort of angry as we were approaching. And here's another time when they calling you all kind of names and uh, their favorite thing was the N-word and communist, you know. They, they were using those things uh, quite a bit in those days. So. Uh, as we went up the street, somebody yelled that the kids are in the school. And man, the mob went wild. Uh, you know, they attacked us. We were trying to show our press cards and that kind of stuff. And <laughs> that don't mean anything to us. You know, you blacks, so we're going to get you out of here. We got a few kicks, a few licks, or something like that. but. Uh, L. Alex Wilson got beat up pretty badly. And uh, they showed pictures of people jumping on his back and hitting him with bricks and kicking him around. And those pictures also went all over the world, uh, uh, what had happened to him. Jimmy Hicks and I had run into one of the typical situations at the bottom of the street there. We ran into a policeman who was on a motorbike. and. Uh, we thought we might get a little help, man. He kicked that thing off and just drove off, man. He didn't give a hoot, you know. So uh, that's what was happening with the police. The police in a lot of situations, they, they, they didn't function, you know, the way you thought police might. But uh, that was a pretty rough day out there.